Alright, so I'm finally back with another new video and this time it's going to be a smoothie. I'm just using three simple ingredients. So I have my um, greens. This is just a power green mixture. It's um, tender baby spinach, chard, kale, and Mizuna, I think. I've never had Mizuna before, so I'm not quite too sure what it is, but it's a green. And then I just, of course, have my strawberries. I have some pineapples in here. I have some mangoes in here, and I have some nectarines. So it's just like a basic fruit mixture, just to make sure, you know, you want, you just don't want to drink any greens, because it's not going to be, you know, fruity or it's not going to taste that good. I mean, I'm sure people do, but I like my stuff to taste a little bit short. And then I also have this which is just apple cider vinegar and this one actually has honey in it because it's a drink so I'm just gonna add these um, ingredients these three ingredients you don't have to use a fruit mixture but that's like basically all I have was a mixture of fruit you can just use one fruit you can just use two fruits you can use whatever you want but this recipe is really good because as you know Apple cider vinegar is really good for belly fat, and so this is going to help, you know, burn more fat. It's going to help get your metabolism going, so that's really good. And then spinach, you know, it's, it's, it's a vegetable. It's good for you. So this is really good. You're getting your servings of fruits and veggies, so let's get to it. All right, and so now, as you can see, my blender has magically appeared. Of course, you know, it's missing the other part. There's no three plug hole in my room, so I can't really blender it. So I'm just gonna show you guys, I don't know, putting it in. Okay, so I'm just gonna add, of course, actually, you always wanna add your liquid first, just because if you have frozen fruit, it may be a little bit hard to blend. So I'm going to add my apple cider vinegar first, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. Maybe about, the most is probably like, eight ounces but maybe like between it so maybe like six ounces but there's like no real thing so i'm just gonna add that mixture first all right so i'm just gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar with the honey that's in it just gonna add like a bit not too much because it's apple cider vinegar and let's just be honest it's not the best thing oh so sour <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to add some of my fruit. I just have like a whole like mason jar full. So if you want to add some, or if you don't know how much to add, I say always like do it like to your taste buds. Like my taste buds are going to be different from your taste buds, so just do it to taste. If you try it, if you blend it together and it tastes disgusting, add more. Like, I'm gonna blend mine together, and if it doesn't taste good, I am going to add more. And I'm gonna pop this thing, it's not open. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add a handful of this. Don't worry, it's already been like triple washed. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Just cause, you know, I already got the apple cider vinegar in there, and it's gonna be tasting really nasty. And so this is my final mixture. Got my apple cider vinegar, my fruits, and then my veggies. And now I'm going to lift it all up. All right, all right. And so now I'm finally back. I blended it all up. As you, oh, that's like a, as you can see, I blended it up. Didn't film that part because, like I said, my kitchen is as dark as a dungeon, and it doesn't make any sense for me to take it. It took like five seconds for me to. Blend it up so it didn't make sense for me to bring my whole camera set up in there. And so then I'm just going to go ahead and pour it. Ooh, yeah. And you're probably wondering, Brittany, why do you have this extra strawberry just sitting here? Because honestly, I forgot it, but why not? There you go. Tropicana, living the high life. Alright, and now it's time, of course, for the taste test. I've already actually already tasted it, and it has like a powerful kick to it. Like, it's not like you would think like it would be disgusting because of how it looked, but it's delicious. Like, literally, I can't even taste, I can't even taste the apple cider vinegar in it. 
I can sort of kind of taste the greens, but it tastes more of a fruit than the greens. So definitely if you're like someone who hates green, <laughs> I hate green, if you hate the taste of vegetables, yeah, you know, add more fruit to it or, you know, add something else besides it. I like to always add coconut juice to my smoothie just because it gives it a nice, like, tropical taste to it, I feel like. So you can always go ahead and add that. But yeah, definitely this smoothie is delicious and it's a perfect fat burner because, you know, apple cider vinegar. This is something that I definitely recommend maybe making every morning. It's super simple and it takes like only five minutes five minutes to like whip this together and it's very um filling just because you have all the fruits you have all the veggies and you know have the apple cider vinegar in it so it's definitely going to fill you up in the morning so yeah i give this a thumbs up okay.